Welcome to Metaphysics and Masters. And you know, um, the Mayans call 2012 the time of no time, meaning even their great seers couldn't predict what's going to happen in this time because it's up, up to us to create it. It's up to us to create what happens from here on in, you, me, and everyone else on the planet. So this morning, I thought that we would look at, um, we're going to look at the eyes we're going to look at the thought of initiation through the eyes of the Dalai Lama. Okay, so uh, the Dalai Lama, when I looked at what the things that he said, I just made my heart crack open. And where, so initiation, initiation, just in simple terms, is what we're asked to go through as a kind of a gauge as to what we've learned and to see if we're ready for new understandings, new energy, new teaching. We do not have to have teachers in the body to experience this. We are given it. So what I'd like you to do, we're not just going to listen to the beautiful words of the Dalai Lama, although that's a part of it. I would like each one of you for a moment, and I know we're all going through something, whether it's you know, feeling like we're under tremendous amount of pressure or so much to do, or you've got the phone call that someone you love is not well, or you're not well, whatever it is, just pull it forward in your consciousness for a moment, okay? So making your bodies comfortable. I'm sitting on my heels. You do not have to sit on your heels. <coughs> just close your eyes for a moment. Watch your breath. Just watch your breath as it comes in and leaves. This is time of no time. In other words, if we make everything personal, that means this is, this is the year where we do things differently than we've ever done them before. We do them differently than our partners might do them, than our parents did them, and so on. We do it differently than our government tells us to do us, our religions. We follow our hearts as long as it's in the light, in peace, and in harmony with cosmic law. It's the time of no time. Now, pull from your heart, from your consciousness, something that might be either challenging you at this time or laying heavy on your heart, or something that's going around in your consciousness, in your mind, that you're having trouble putting to rest. Bring it forward. And see if you can then put a bubble of white light, put it in a, if you're a visual person, you can put it sort of at like a ticker tape, you know, some, some words. Or you can visualize a picture of it. Or a mental image of the people involved. And then I'd like you just for a moment to put some beautiful a beautiful deep rose pink ray around it, surrounded in the love that has the vibration, the ray that has the vibration of love, compassion, understanding. And know that that light holds the energy for you and everyone involved in this situation. And in that light of love, what if this situation is an initiation for you. That just handling it in its ups and downs will, as you get through it, will bring to you a greater capacity for spiritual energy, will take you to the next level in your evolutionary journey. What if it's a gift? What if it's as, as powerful as the Dalai Lama is, what happened in t Tibet with China was not only a karmic situation for Tibet, but it was an initiation for the Dalai Lama. How would he handle it? Hmm? It's the same with our, it's, there's no difference than what we're going through now. It's an opportunity to do things differently with love, and holding the hands of the great ones.
They are always there guiding us. So as we begin to breathe and to prepare our body for the movement, <coughs> take the hand of the Great Ones, whatever you consider to be a Great One. You know, the Dalai Lama even said, you know, whatever, if you have a particular faith of religion, that's good. But if you can survive, but you can survive without it. And he's a Buddhist, you know, the most famous Buddhist on the planet. You can survive without your religion because you are soul, you are spirit. It's between you and source. And receive that energy as if you're breathing in directly from source. Take it in. Breathe. Let it flow as deep into your belly as you can. And then hold on to it. Feel that light empower you, the energy coming through the breath. Feel it empower you. And then through your mouth, sigh out all limitation. We're out of the time that we're familiar with. We've got to get creative. Inhale, breathe in spirit. Let it go all the way deep to your toes. Hold it, embrace it. Breath is life. Oh, relax the tension and the stress and trying to do things the old way or figure it out. We let it go. Inhale, breathe in light. Take that light in called breath of spirit. Hold it in your lungs and then visualize it filtering into every cell, every atom. And then exhale. <coughs> One more time. See how breath unites you to all that is. Breathe in. It in unites you to the process that even the Dalai Lama is going through. Hold all the great souls. Do you, don't you know that the crucifixion was Jesus' great initiation into the Lordship? Exhale. It's not meant to break. It's meant to make. Inhale. Tense the legs. Clench the fists. Pull your belly in if you're not pregnant. Squeeze all the way to the top of your head. Feel your body vibrating with cosmic energy. You are cosmic energy. Exhale. Sigh it out. We've got a space up here. Again, inhale. Squeeze. Feel as though all the old energy, the solar flares are coming in. They're coming in through our electrical system. Exhale. And let's let them integrate. Again, inhale. Squeezing out the old. If this is the time of no time, we're the bodies of no bodies. We're not going to, we're no bodies, we're spirits. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale. And we happen to have a body, and what, a, what an honor it is to be here now. Inhale. Last one. Really squeeze. Squeeze. Let your navel come in. Let your, even your scalp tense. Exhale and relax. Now feel for a moment. You can even feel that it's like, ah, you know, we relieved a whole layer of stress. Already, take a deep inhale. As we're aware that we're getting lighter and lighter, exhale, hands at the heart. Press your left hand into your right hand. Again, close your eyes. Now visualize that situation transmuted. See yourself moving through it with as much dignity as you can. You may fall down. You may say something you, not, you wish you hadn't said. Forgive yourself, get back up again, and see yourself keep moving. Because the only way you can fail is to stop moving toward the light to get so frustrated and discouraged with yourself that you stop making the effort. We're all spiritual Rockies. We need to get back up and keep swinging. And see, see yourself moving forward. See yourself moving through the situation. Feel yourself with, in peace with it, in love, in trust to the universe that has brought you closer, closer to spirit. And that situation still shining, a beautiful deep rose pink. And thank the universe right now. Thank it for that situation in your life. Thank you for trusting, thank the Holy Ones for trusting you enough to give you this initiation. And you can even affirm this too shall pass and I shall be in greater light, in greater empowerment through my spirit soul. And take a deep inhale. Hold that breath, feel it moving your heart, opening it. And exhale, sigh it out and release your hands. Oh. 
Oh, and since this is the time of no time and we're going to do things differently, this gives us an opportunity to recreate our world and the earth in general. We're going to recreate our yoga class a little bit to start differently. Why not? I invite you to lie back, lay back. If, if anybody's feeling um, a little squished, we have um, quite a few people in the room today. There's a spot up here, if you don't mind being up here. Lay back and... and <coughs> So lay down. You know, when they found the Dalai Lama when he was two, they realized that he was this great incarnation of Buddha. And he went to school at six with <laughs> five majors and five minor <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> subjects. Go ahead now. As we warm up, bring your right knee up, interlace your fingers and below your knee on your calf and pull that right knee towards your shoulder. Get your chin elongated, but the neck is on the ground. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring it towards you. So we're going to start with a cleansing. And can you imagine the Dalai Lama's parents when they had to give him up? Take him to the temple and drop him off at six years old to be trained for his life mission. Of course, it was a great privilege, but oh my goodness. Who could say goodbye to their child at six? Talk about an initiation. On your keep exhaling the knee in as you release your hips and your low back with the, and cleanse your digestive system with this. Get your shoulder blades together behind you. Now reach that leg up and flex and point and flex and point it down so that the heel is about three inches, two inches from the ground and just bring it up and down a little bit to open up your belly work. So you've got the foot flex and just open it up and open up and then relax it down, bring your left leg up, interlace your fingers, same place on the calf and bring it toward you. Relax. You know one of the major subjects that, that he was asked to study was metaphysics. So throughout his education, till he was 21, he was, took five majors, five minors, and studied, of course, all the, he was great in English languages, all that sort of thing. At 21, he got tested, and he passed with a doctorate, the equivalent of a doctorate. Now, I imagine during that time there was a resistance. There were times where the teenager came out or the child came out that wanted to play. Keep bringing it in just for a few moments. See if you can release your resistances. Then take the leg up, flex and point, and start bringing it down using your belly muscles. Flex and point. Then hold it about two inches from the floor. Extend through your heel to, to stretch your hip a little bit and just pump it up and down. Then place your hands, actually let's bring both knees in to your chest, wrap your head, wrap your arms around your legs, put your forehead up to your knees, really squeeze, get a hug in there because we've got to squeeze out all of the old way of doing things and then bring your spine down, your head down, but your arms stay tight. So you're going to pull your knees close to your chest and breathe. Let the intention here to be to release what you think you know. How you feel that this situation in your life needs to turn out. Be open. Let's, let's, um, this is the time not to define anything. Just be in the moment, let it happen. Now take your legs straight, flex and point, and start bringing them down. Stop when they're about two, three inches, flex and point, flex and point, 